Welcome back to my channel. Why is my hand awkwardly placed here? Okay. Today is not really like a vlog. Um, today is like more of a segment that I want to try out, which is like cooking with me. Since MCO and since I've been finished with exams, I've been trying to cook like different different things because I'm at home and my grandma can teach me. Today's segment is not really cooking. I don't really know. It's called because like the thing I'm gonna do is not really baking. Because you don't bake it, you don't put it in an oven. It might be cooking, but you don't cook it. It's just like throwing stuff together. So maybe it's throwing stuff together with Mira. Let's name it that. Today we're going to be making drum roll. Cake butter! So yeah, um, I'm gonna be following my grandma's recipe for today. Tonight actually. It's actually like 10. Nine, I'm like something. It's a simple recipe, but a little disclaimer for you guys: the ingredients are not that healthy. I got to admit, and I am not sponsored by any of the brands. I wish any of the brands in this video you can hit me up to sponsor me. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. So like, it's up to you to use whatever variation of the ingredients that I'm gonna show you later. But like these um specific brands are what my grandma uses most often, and she says that it. Like the type of brand that you use will also affect the taste. I don't know. But like you guys can just try it out. And comment down below if you try it out and tell me how it tastes like how it comes out. Because from what I know, my friends tell me it's one of the best cake parties they've tasted. So, you know, people say what they want to say and people don't lie you know, sometimes. But yeah, I hope that you guys can try out this little throwing stuff together with Mira and I hope you guys enjoy the cake party. Okay, let's go on with the video. Today, as I said, is going to be baking but not really baking, maybe cooking with Mira and my guest, my grandma. Grandma, put your hand in front of the camera, say hi. No, grandma, grandma, it's the other way. Hi! Okay, and then my mom. My mom doesn't want to be in it. Mom, mom, come here. Mom, stop showing the finger hearts. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's why I'm the cool one in the family. Today, we're going to be making my famous cake batik. So, what we need is... <laughs> Ignore that. Okay. First, we need a metal bowl. A big metal bowl. ASMR. They're laughing at me. That's why I'm awkward. Okay, then we need... Milo, okay, 400 grams of Milo, okay, one can of concentrated milk, is that what it's condensed called in English? Milk. Condensed milk. Condensed. condensed milk, okay, condensed milk, Um, doesn't matter any brand, but apparently the FN one is the best, can grandma? Yes. Okay, um, butter, one brick of butter, is it called one brick? I don't know. Grandma says this one is the best butter, right grandma? Yeah. Butter cup, okay, you have to melt it in, so it's like this. You can see okay okay that's the butter <laughs> um, but like for the butter you don't really like need to care like how you melt the butter as long as you put it uh, as long as it's melted we need biscuit mary uh i think mary biscuits right in english and then you need like two packets of it but like it depends on what type of biscuit mary you get i didn't get tiger biscuit that's why my my grandma's a bit disappointed in me but like any type of biscuit mary is enough okay because it's not tiger biscuit so we need Three packets instead of his biscuit. I am getting judged so bad. Okay, we need tiger biscuit, but then like because I like, <laughs> That's why I'm confused. Okay, so and like and like in the advertisement they say biscuit, you know, grandma. <laughs> Okay, so I did some fact checking just to prove my point, and I was right. Okay, it is tiger biscuit. I'm not that dumb. Okay, and also before you start, oh my god, I'm laughing so bad in this video. You need to fill in a steak square. It doesn't matter how big. It depends on how big you want the serving to be. With parchment paper or like this, like plastic alas. It's easy to take out the biscuit later. Wow, my mom's such a good camera woman. Yeah, so, <laughs> so let's begin, shall we? Okay, yeah, you, can, you, can, you can put 
You can put it on your end. Okay, get this one first. This one first. What the? What the? First of all, what we need to do is. Okay. Okay. Um, just like a quick update. This is my grandma's recipe. She's been a baker. How long have you been a baker, grandma? Since you were like what twenty? Can? Yeah. Okay. Since she was twenty years old. And this biscuit Mary is like the best biscuit Mary out there, man. Ah, uh, the reason why Wawan calls it biscuit Mary is because the main ingredient is biscuit Mary. But like people call it cake batik. So. Eh, up to you. Okay, so now first of all, let's add all the ingredients. First, we're gonna add the four hundred grams of Milo into the into the bowl. It's easy if you if you malas nak sukat sukat like measure measure. You just buy like the four hundred ni and then just pour up everything inside the inside the bucket. And then you put in the butter. So look, it's like the melted butter. So this recipe is very perfect for all those lazy people like me. I'm very lazy. Um, because you you can just put it in the microwave and then it's done. Yeah, you pour all. My grandma said pour all. Itu bukan yang buat nasi tadi. No. Ma, the one yang buat nasi tu, yang warna putih, not this one. I'm confusing you. Then okay, then after that, all you do is just mix it up. So you do it. Susu first. Oh, okay, susu first. For all, yeah. From here point, you can see how unhealthy it is. But do we care? No. Okay, then you mix it up. Okay, you don't even like. There's not even a technique, you know. You just have to mix it up. You just have to make it so that you make sure all the Milo is like infused in. Okay, so quality check, Grandma. Yeah. Okay, Grandma, put a thumbs up in front of the camera. Yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna crack all the biscuit, Mary. Make sure to wash your hands before you do it, guys. Into four. Make sure that when you break it, you don't like hancur kan it, kan it sampai like you tak nampak apa apa kau. Because if you hancur kan it gila gila, and yeah, dia takkan cantik. So you need to make sure that the pieces nampak. That's like grandma's number one tip. The biscuit, this amount of uh biscuit, so. Oh, only two. Okay. Okay. A few moments later. Now you have to make it just sebati like this. As long as most of the biscuits are covered, then you're good. Okay. So just make sure until sebati. It's okay kalau ada like some of, if like some of the batter, ano, yeah, still around the bowl. So now the cake batik is done. Like it's done. So all you need to just put to do is put it in the mold. Now what we do is we're just gonna pour it all in into the tray. Okay. Like you can just pour it all in. Tapi I like to be careful because it's very sticky. The next part is the really fun part because we're gonna put the red this. And we're gonna like press it. This is what's gonna give the cake batik its shape. Okay. So we press it around the mold. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and then you just close it. Oh, you can move it there. You just close it in like this. It's like a present. Okay, and then you put one extra on top just to secure it and make sure that it has a shape. Okay, so there you have it. Okay, what is that? Just put it in the fridge. Okay, think it's okay. Okay, so now, now we're gonna put it in the fridge and we're gonna let it cool overnight so that it's easy to bottle. Okay. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna check back in and see how it's gonna cut. It's better if you can leave it overnight so that it's like more hard, so that it's easy for you to cut it. Yeah. So tomorrow we'll check in and see how the cake batik looks like. The next day. Okay. So this is how the cake batik turned out. So look, like that's why Wawan said. 
make sure you don't cut the biscuit Mary small into small pieces so that it looks like this. So like, this is why it's called cake batik. And then it's so nice, nice. Thank you.